Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hey, welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, your host. I'm with Steve, and we're talking a little bit of Final Cut Pro today. In particular... In particular, searching in the Finder for your Final Cut Pro movies. Searching in the Finder for your Final Cut Pro movies. That's right. A lot of times you export a movie and it's like, where did I put it? It's like looking oh, for... Oh, that is true. That is true. I never... I, you I know forget how to that, look you at that have dialogue. that problem. I do. I forget that. You know how I disorganized oh, I get. It's yeah, like... It's you like, you well, see my computer. It's like looking for <laughs> uh, a piece of hay in a needle stack. It's like so painful. That sounds really painful. <laughs> it is so painful. So I thought today I'd talk about how you would tag your movies and have all of your tags appear in the Finder in Spotlight. A lot, I, a lot of people don't even you know you can do this. So wait a minute. So when you tag your movies, those tags are searchable by Spotlight? Yeah, they are. No way. Yes, they are. Just prove they it. They are. I'll prove it. All right, let's okay. see. Okay, so here's an awesome video that we created just recently for a tutorial that we uh, we created on a four day building a four-day promo. And this is actually the promo. And we want to export this as a master movie, a, a master file. For archiving right. purposes, it's always a good idea to, to create a master file version. Yeah, of the highest movie. resolution highest possible. Resolution. Yeah, sort of working so resolution. I'm working in the project library right now. This is the film strip. And I'm going to go over here and turn on the, open the inspector first. Okay? Okay. And you up here, you have the share pane. And you're only going to see the share pane when you are in the project library. Project library. Okay. Right. Okay. And you'll notice here in the share pane, you have what are called tokens. Now, a token is simply a placeholder for a keyword. So when it says name token, it's going to extract the name of the project as a keyword. Oh, so name means project name. That's in that right, case. project okay. name. So in this case, project name would mean Quintessa Harvest, which is okay. what you named it. Right. Uh, this video is about, that would be a, a general description about what, yeah. what the video is. And then is. by default, it's going to insert, in, insert the project name. The there. project name. Yeah. This video is about okay. Quintessa Harvest. But you can change that. You don't have to go that. I just had a question. The current user means whoever signed in to that uh, yes. OS 10 account? Yes. Oh, Whoever's okay. logged in. So, logged in. So it's Mark Spencer as the current user. I see. I see. So okay. I log into your computer secretly and edit my video. <laughs> and it makes everyone thinks that, that you edit it <laughs> when I edit it. Okay. The, the 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 field I'm interested in most is this field here, tags. Okay, um, let me just go ahead and delete that. I, you, by default, you have a token that says events. By default, it'll look at if the, if these clips in here yeah. had tags on them from the event. Let's say you took the time to keyword it all of them. All of those keywords from the event will appear uh, so, as tags. So any keyword collections you've created, that keyword collection, that name. Is automatically added as a tag for metadata for for uploading right. to YouTube or That's something, right. but also just even if you don't upload to YouTube, it's embedded in the exported movie file. It sure is. Wow. And then okay. this one, if you didn't get it that time, all keywords. Does that mean you the know, same thing, or is yeah, that smart collection I, keywords, or what's the difference? That's essentially all keywords, is what it says. I mean, all, all right. the keywords associated with it. I, that might be a little much. I typically uh, go through this, and I I, I add my own. Okay, because you don't need to have a token in there. That's I don't need a token. You can I can just enter specific words. I want to be able to search this at the Finder, okay, and subsequently on YouTube or Vimeo by something that's really meaningful. Like I know this is about a vineyard, so vineyard, okay, and then comma space. So I'm actually space, yeah, and then I will type in what is this about? Wine, of course, and. Uh, Great. And you need to put commas between them? Yes. It, okay. Commas between them. So you can actually all add all your keywords right here with just commas and space. Great. So instead of uploading and doing it, if you're uploading a lot of movies and you're tagging them all in Vimeo YouTube, you don't have to. You can tag it one time One here, time and be done. And it's done. That's that's terrific. It's, it's just really great. And and why why do that? It's, it's, a, it's a great tool. And the fact is, all these tags are going to be, always stay with this project. If I come back to this project at any point in the future, all those tags will be... All that will, will will be, is there, right, right. Right. So you don't have to enter them multiple times. You have to think about it again. It's done. You're okay. Done. So where do you go from here? For, from there, we go to share. Okay. And at this point, uh, we're not going to... We aren't going to share to Vimeo or YouTube, um, although you could do that. Yes. Um, I'm going to export a master, master file, file because okay. I talked about archiving. We're archiving, done with this right. project. I don't know what I'm going to do with this if I'm ever going to edit it in, but I at least want the highest quality video stored on the, the final, which, right. which in this case would be ProRes uh, HQ... No, ProRes regular, um, 1080p, 24, yeah. 2390. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I would go master file, and then I want you to see this. Then you have your tags. Actually, your tags. Yeah, these are you, you have an option to add more tags you, there. You can actually add more tags okay. here. Um, it's interesting why That's actually the yeah. name of the event. To make right sure there. I 
hit return. I want to make sure, yes, that was the name of the event. I just want to make sure we have it, master file. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. It puts the tags. It shows you the tags again there over they are. here. Okay. See? Yeah. So they're all there. I click next. I save it to my hard drive. Now, I'm not going to do that okay. because it's going to take time to export. And there's another thing. You have to wait for Spotlight to index them. Oh. So it's not going to happen right away. Okay. How, how often does Spotlight go through it, and, it fa and check? Fairly often. I mean, I, it, it just, you know, I, you had, I had to wait about three or four minutes before it showed up. Oh, that's all. It wasn't like yeah. three or four hours no. or the next no. day or something. It's, it's no. doing it very quickly in the background. So it's kind of always scanning your machine and looking for new Correct. stuff. Okay. You'll a lot of times see it working. You'll see a dot show up in the middle of the magnifying okay. glass up here. It's It's... Okay. Doing its search. I've never but what, seen that. What I'm going to do is, it's because it happens really fast because most of the stuff's been spotlighted. Yeah. So I'm going to open this up in QuickTime Player first and I want you to see this. Okay. I'm going to hit Command I for Get Info, which it was already open. Already open yeah. uh, I want you to see this. Um, look, at, look at right here. It says Charles Vineyard Wine. The, all of those tags they actually show right here. They showed up inside the metadata field of okay. QuickTime Player. That's great. So all you need to do now. So let's go ahead and go over to Spotlight, and I'm just going to, oh, let me just clear that out, but I'm just going to type in wine. Yeah, I already had it in there, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So basically, you look at, look, under the movie section, it found that keyword in the Quintessa Harvest ah, movie. it located it, yep. Yeah. Even, though, even though that's not the name of the file, because there's meta tag, metadata in there, it found it. It found it. I always wondered why certain things showed up in here yeah. that weren't the name of the file when they're movies, so it's the metadata that's picking up yeah. on it. Okay. Look, I just typed, uh, I just typed uh, Vineyard. Vineyard, you what? go to movies, there, there it is. is. Wow. If I type Charles, too, because you saw that was one of the uh, keywords, because that yep. was, so... That should also bring it up. Now, I bought up a Charles movie and, and I bought it's, up... It's not telling you the location of the movie right there, but if you were to do this in a finder window, I guess then you'd also could see the, the actual path to where it lives. Right. You can also say, well, you can show all in Finder. Show in Finder. Right. Okay. And you can, you, can, uh, you can look at the movie here. Okay. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just so, I'm just so... Yeah, it shows all the results here, okay. uh, which, is, which is quite a bit. Um, so I, there you could just... Let me, oh, let, me try in, in let me try it this way. Um, but then you yeah. could add another search role if you go Command F uh -huh. and then add, click the plus button. Oh, you don't even do that. Kind is movie. Yeah, so kind is. You can oops. leave kind just change change that one to movie. Yeah. Yeah, it shows right up. Shows right Beautiful. up. And then there's the path right down there. Yeah, there it is. Sweet. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, what's, I was really surprised how many people don't know that's that features in there. I had and, no idea. Uh, there it is. It's uh, searching metadata at the Finder level using Spotlight. That's one of those just like. Totally helpful little tips that will save people lots of time, yeah. especially me, because I just throw stuff in oh. folders everywhere yeah. uh, to find something, especially if you don't remember what you called that thing. It yeah. happens to me frequently. Exactly. So I just, Start this, tagging this is great. Stuff. Yeah, I will. I will. I'm, I got to be a better, better meta <laughs> tagger. tagger. Be, be a, a super tagger. Be a super tagger. All right. Thank you, Steve. Uh, please check out more information about Final Cut Pro, about Motion, about Resolve, uh, all kind of apps, plugins on ripple training.com. And uh, thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.